you ever wondered about visiting the poles of Mother Earth? Today, we are finding new and innovative ways to explore the unknown wonders of the universe. From spaceships to explore the moon or settle on Mars to automated self-driving cars, man has invented various ways to satisfy his thirst for adventure. While companies like SpaceX want to go to Mars, another company, Ocean Sky Cruises, wants to take you to the North Pole. That too is emission free. Today we are going to tell you about an emission free way to explore the freezing point of the Earth. Stay tuned to find out all about it. So, if you are wondering, airships were once used to drop bombs during World War I, later for passenger travel. These airships were heaven for the very rich to sail in leisure and luxury. The fatal crash of Hindenburg tragedy in 1937 put an end to what had been a flourishing golden age of airship travel, leaving airships serving as ads in the sky or for sports telecasts only. And then the airships vanished from the sea. However, after decades, a Swedish business preparing a trip to the North Pole for 2023-2024 is now reserving cabins in an airship that will cost $65,000 per couple. But it is not just the trip to the North Pole that makes us excited about the return of airships, but the way it will help fight climate change. Airships are making a major comeback not only because they are vintage and look cool, but also to provide an emission-free ride to our destinations. Today, climate change is one of the biggest issues faced by us, and if something is not done on time, there will be grave consequences for our irresponsible behavior. Our ozone layer has started depleting on a very large scale already, and the climates are getting extreme, giving rise to incidents like forest fires, growth of bacteria, and viruses that may pose a threat to our lives. If not taken care of on time, everything might just collapse. So we need to start somewhere to fight climate change. And because the airline industry accounts for a small but considerable 2.5% of carbon emissions each year, it is the perfect place to start. So why does it make sense for airships to come back? For that, we need to understand what an airship actually is. The term airship includes motorized vessels that float because they are filled with a gas that is lighter than air, such as helium or hydrogen. Blimps and zeppelins are the most common. What makes it an emission-free choice for traveling is the fact that airships don't need to fuel to lift them off the ground. They just need it to propel them forward. Hydrogen was initially the lifting gas of choice as it was cheap and abundant, which means saying goodbye to carbon emission and ozone depletion. This lighter-than-air technology is by far one of the most efficient options for cleaner air travel. The very small need for utilities and the low energy requirements make it the most viable option. Future possibilities for lighter-than-air technology from a sustainable point of view are much greater than for any other means of air transportation. One such of the very few companies, Ocean Sky, wants us to explore the hidden parts of the world. And with all the luxury cruises to the North Pole, who would say no to it? The ship that will be used is Airlander 10 from another airship company, Hybrid Air Vehicles. The ultra-luxurious airship is 143 feet wide and has a height of 85 feet. The 321-foot-long airship can fly continuously for as long as three days and reach a maximum height of up to 10,000 feet in the air, with a payload capacity of up to 22,050 pounds. Despite the huge size, airship could only accommodate seven crew members and 16 passengers in one go. What makes it even more attractive is the interior of this airship. If just the thought of a 12-hour-long, stiff-backed, knee-crunched, parched air flight makes you want to stay at home rather than exploring the unknown, imagine something closer to a flying cruise ship. Imagine having your own room, a bed, an entire restaurant and bar, maybe even a glass-floored observation room where you could see the landscape below drifting past in glorious detail. Now that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? However, one thing to know before booking your trip to the North Pole is that airships travel at about one-fifth of the speed of planes, which means 20 knots versus 100. And nowadays, the lifting gas of choice is helium despite being expensive and scarce. A lot of people question what makes airships better than aeroplanes. Well, firstly, airships are extremely light and aerodynamic, able to change course easily without altering speed or even staying stationary. The above, combined with their low fuel consumption, makes them ideal for stationary floating over a specific area for a long period of time. Owing to their low altitude and low speeds, their cabins are always depressurized, which gives you the ability to hold your head out and look down at the planet, something that is impossible on a plane. However, airships cannot operate under extreme weather conditions, such as a thunderstorm, unlike a plane. With so much surface area, they're whipped around like a kite. Another downside is that the storage area is expensive. Airships need their own specially made hangars that dwarf regular aircraft hangars. Unlike boats, airships are likely to have an accident. Fires, explosions, forced landings, injuries, etc. It just seems that nature does not want man to fly airships on such a regular basis. But we can still hope for improved safety measures with the passage of time. 
One last question before you go. Helium gas is very rare on Earth, so will using it for airships on a commercial scale help fight climate change?